The day's finally arrived. Da, 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 da. You could probably guess what this is based on the, the, the title of this video and the thumbnail, but it's finally here! The Steam Deck is in my hands and we're going to do an unboxing video shortly. And I've even got my unboxing gloves, my black nitrile gloves, which, as you know, are my go-to unboxing gloves. Anyways, guys, please smash the thumbs up underneath this video. It really helps out. If you want to see more Steam Deck content, please subscribe, click the bell icon, because I'm going to be posting a lot more Steam Deck content over the coming days and weeks. Um, I am super excited to unbox this thing. Let's get into it. Let's get the gloves on. Let's get started. I'm Blaze 2K. Hope you have an amazing day. Hopefully you get your hands on a Steam Deck soon. Let's enjoy this little bad boy. Let's go. So here we are. Here's the Steam Deck in the box. Um, we're gonna get started. We're gonna start unboxing this bad boy. And I'm gonna give you my first impressions as well. Unboxing gloves on. Here we go, we're opening it for the first time. Smash the like button, if you, listen guys, if you don't smash the like button, I'm not gonna open this, we'll just sit here. Have you smashed it yet? Have you clicked it? All right, there you go, you clicked it. Ooh, look at this. Here it is. So we've got, on the subway, on a Ferris wheel, so these are all places that you could potentially play your Steam Deck on a submarine, on a to in the toilet of which I will probably be doing. On a Ferris wheel, underwater in a submarine, who knows? On a patio, um, whilst you're getting your dent with your teeth done. So this is attention, plug in, and then power on. Okay, so it wants me to plug it in and then power on. No, I'm just gonna turn it on. So let's 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 save the best to last. Let's take this out, what's this thing? Um, can you see that? Power adapter. As boring as a power adapter is, Let's, let's, it could be the most exciting power adapter in the world. I've, I don't think I've actually watched any unboxing videos yet. This is new for me. Ugh. There we go. What does the Steam Deck power adapter look like? Ooh. How's it looking? Very nice. Alright. And there's the USB C adapter for it. Cool. You can probably use this adapter for all sorts of devices, your phone, your laptop, whatever as whatever takes USB-C. Alright. There we go. The power of the unboxing gloves. Your games are going places. Designed by Valve Corporation in Bellevue, Washington. Look at that. Nice, sir. Can you get the whole thing in frame? Oh, oh, it smells good. Have a sniff. Have a sniff, everyone. Have a sniff of the Steam Deck. It has that brand new smell. Don't you, you know what smell I'm talking about? That brand new electronic smell. Oh, look. They've got a security. Oh, look at that. They've got a security thing on the actual zip. I guess just to make sure, you know, it's brand new and you get it, that's pretty good. So anybody that tries to sell you a so-called brand new Steam Deck on eBay and then you get it and this thing's clicked, then you'll know they were lying out their ass and that it's really open box. So, nice little touch there. Real nice little touch. Um, let's open it. Oh, you ready? Are you ready for this? Oh, wow, that's a chunky beast. Look at that. Oh, well, it's actually that. It's actually pretty light. I thought it'd be heavier. So there's the Steam Deck. Zoom in with the, the zoom if you can and just zoom in on all the inputs. So there's the, the D pad. Oh, the D pad feels perfect. It feels absolutely perfect. Um, thumbsticks feel good. Oh, this is, oh, it's, it's a bit weird. It feels different than like a PlayStation controller, but this is gonna be, oh, this is gonna be perfect for racing games. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Playing games like shooter games, all sorts of games. The touch pads, it's hard to, it's hard to really, I don't feel a click on them, so they've not got a click. It must be like a touch sensitive thing. They, they sort of go down, but they don't click. There's no click to it. Um, Steam button, here's the back of it. Here's the back of the Steam Deck. Oh, look at that. The back buttons are clicky. 
was click. Cool. And there's the vent on the back. Nice. So there's the, the top of the Steam Deck. The, power, uh, the volume buttons. You've got your audio 3.5mm headphone jack. You've got the vent on the top for cooling. You've got a USB-C port for charging. This is, gonna, this is the only USB-C port you're going to get. Alright, so charging, um, output into monitors and stuff like that. And then there's a power button. So there we go. And then on the bottom, we don't have anything except for the micro USB slot. Can you see that? There we go. So let's get this bad boy plugged in. In fact, first, I want to compare this to the Switch OLED. So here we've got a couple of things for comparison um, so you can get a good scale of this thing, right? So here's a DualSense 5 Nintendo Switch OLED. We've got my little Ambernic RG350 here that I used to use for playing retro games and a Switch Lite. So let's compare this bad boy with these, with these three things. So here's the Steam Deck, as you can see. And here's a Switch OLED. Like, it's not worlds apart. If anything, the tablet portion is about the exact same size as the Switch's tablet portion. And the only the only reason this is bigger is because of the, the controls. They've had to switch, they've had to add that touchpad in, so that kind of widens it quite a bit. And obviously this has comfortable grips in the back, whereas this doesn't. So, here's the Switch OLED. There's the, the thickness comparison. And here's them from the top. It's everything compared. There's a... DualSense controller. So that's hopefully a good size comparison there. I wish they really put an OLED screen in this thing. I think it would be so much better. All right, let's see what else is in the box. So let's put that over there and let's open this up. So we get a little Steam Deck cloth by the looks of it. A nice little cloth for wiping the screen. Very cool. Um, and that's it. Literally. Oh wait, hold on. Looks like you get like a little bag here, I guess, to put something in. Maybe the charging brick, something. Who knows? Um, I feel like they could have put more, they could have storage space for, I was going to say games, but it's not a Nintendo Switch. But there we go, Steam Deck. Alright, here we go. I'm turning it on for the first, oh it's already on! It's plugged in. I didn't even press the power button. So we're gonna set it up for the first time. Here is the Steam Deck in my hands. This is the 512 gigabyte model with the anti-glare screen. Um, I'm probably gonna upgrade the storage with a micro SD card at some point, um, but right now I just wanna enjoy it, you know, for what it is with the SD card inside it. Um, but yeah, I love the feel of it, guys. One thing that I've noticed is you could almost easily hit those little back buttons here. Um, if you're holding this thing or picking it up, it's easy to hit them. So hopefully it doesn't invoke any sort of weird command thing that messes up anything. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I thought I said Windows there. I was like, what? There's not supposed to be Windows on this? Welcome, select language. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set Korean down here because obviously I'm a native Korean speaker. Not really, but okay, English. And we're going to do Pacific Standard Time? No, we don't live in Los Angeles. We're going to do Alaska Time. Because <laughs> I live in a little shack up in Alaska. All right, where's Central Time? There it is. Checking for updates. Here we go. 52 seconds remaining, 50 seconds remaining. You Here we are. I've just logged in, so I connected to Wi-Fi, installed the update, logged in with my Steam ID, and this is the screen we're at. It says, welcome to Steam Deck. Before you start playing, let's take a quick tour of the device. Press any button or tap the screen to continue. This is the Steam button. Press to, accept, press to access your library, store, settings and more. Press and hold to view the Steam button shortcuts. Okay, cool. Okay. This is the quick access button. Press to quickly, quickly view your notifications, friends, list, quick settings and more. Um, up here's a power button, press once to suspend or resume Steam Deck, press and hold to access the power button, cool. Over here is the volume buttons, press and hold to adjust the Steam Deck's volume. Um, last of all, is down below is the micro SD card slot, expand your deck storage capacity by inserting and formatting a micro SD card, push this card in to eject. Have fun. We hope you enjoy your Steam Deck. If you would like to see this tour again, you can access it from the quick access menu, help and replay guided tour. Boom. We're in. <laughs> oh, stop. Guys, look. I've been streaming Resident Evil Village on Steam this past couple of weeks, and now I can finally play it whilst I'm, in, whilst I'm sitting on the toilet. Or in bed. Or on the sofa with my family. Or 
in the car. You never know. So there's all my games from my library. Resident Evil Village, uh, Resident Evil Verse, Rocket League, Battlefield 2042. Nah, we're not playing that. Dead by Daylight, uh, Dead by Daylight. Batman, Friday 13th, the game Alien Isolation. I need to continue playing that. Rainbow Six Siege, I don't think that will work because it's got, because it's got anti-piracy stuff. Um, Resident Evil 4, PUBG Battlegrounds, Planet Coaster, Assetto Corsa, Euro Truck Sib, Halo. Oh man. Fallout 4, I've been wanting to get into that game so bad. Let's go look at what other games I've got in my library. I've not bought that many. Well, I've got I've got a decent amount of games. Arizona Sunshine, Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, lots of games here. You should catch the whole screen. Uh, Company of Heroes, Darksiders, Dark Souls 3, Darkness 2, Darksiders, Dead by Daylight, DZ, Dead Space, uh, Dirt 4, um, Dirty Bomb, Dirt Rally, Doom, DMC, Devil May Cry, Dota, Dying Light, oh my god, F1, I can't wait to play F1 games on this, uh, Far Cry, <laughs> all my Steam games, NBA, god, so this is the beauty of the Steam Deck, right, is that when you want to play the games at the highest settings on a big screen, you can use your gaming PC, I've got a gaming PC in my, in my room, but it's for those moments you want to take, you know, you, know want to, you want to take your games downstairs to play somewhere else, this is where the Steam Deck really shines, right? Um, so I've got 217 Steam games. Cool. Um, here we've got what's new. I guess this just shows you like what what's new on Steam, what new games have been released, what updates have been released, trending among friends, what's new on the store. Let's pull up the quick menu. Here we've got our brightness controls, audio, game rumble, Steam haptics. Um, we've got our battery life. Cool. Advanced view. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Limit frame rate to 30. Thermal power. Got our help stuff. We've got our friends. And we've got our notifications. Uh, back. And then what's this one? Steam. And here we go. Steam library. The Steam store. Friends and chat. Media. Download settings. There's all, let's look at the settings here. Nice. So there we go. And you can obviously do remote play. So if you have a gaming PC in your house like I have, and maybe I want to play a game at like max settings, you know, I could remote play and do it like, you know, play remotely. That's kind of cool. So there we go guys, pretty awesome. And also here's, you know, you might want to use a remote play for games that aren't supported by Steam Deck. So let's say you've got a game like Rainbow Six Siege or hell, Call of Duty Warzone. You could set up Call of Duty Warzone or set up the um, shortcut to it on your gaming PC um, and then just play it via the Steam Deck. Even though the Steam Deck doesn't support it, it will support it via game streaming. So that's something really cool um, and that, that I noticed a lot of reviewers don't mention. Um, so yeah, really happy with it. Looks good. The screen looks good. The anti-glare screen looks a lot better than just say the, you know, the reflective screen. But hey, both have their pros and cons. Um, so yeah, there's, there's my Steam Deck. I'm excited to do more videos on it. So I figured it wouldn't be right to end the video without showing you a little bit of gameplay. So we're going to show you a little bit of gameplay. And I'm also going to show you the desktop mode, right? So if you press and power the, if you press and hold the power button here, you could get an option to switch to desktop. And let's do that. I'm going to show you the desktop mode. So there's the desktop mode. It's a lot like Windows, right? So your right trackpad allows you to move it around like the mouse. We can open up the, the app tray thing just like windows the start menu open up the desktop version of steam look at that <laughs> um crazy and can obviously open firefox do a little bit of web browsing see how cool is that let's show you some gameplay now i've downloaded devil may cry 5 so
this is all, this isn't a, a cutscene. This is actually animated on the Steam Deck. So what you're looking at is the Steam Deck actually rendering this. Look at the graphics. Again, this is this is this is rendered on the game. What am I doing, wasting my time here? He's got this. You should not underestimate this demon. How crazy is that? After all, it was he who took your right arm and gained a great deal of power from it. Let's get past this cutscene. I'm leaving. And let's just jump straight into the game. Okay, mission start. So here we have it. Here's Devil May Cry Die. on the same deck. Graphics look insane, guys, and it's holding the steady 60 frames a second. And if we actually go to here, we could actually um, I can take you with no arms. we can go down and turn on the performance overlay, which gives us like the frame rate, how much CPU it's using. It's so good. Solid 60, and this looks absolutely amazing, guys. Here's the um, performance overlay. Here's the game quality. Look at that. Sorry for the poor video, guys. I'm, I will obviously do more in-depth videos and gameplays and stuff like that with my actual camera set up upstairs, but just want to show you a little bit of what the gameplay was like on the Steam Deck, and it's, let me tell you, it's awesome. And this is with like high settings on Devil May Cry 5. Love it. Anyways, guys, there it is, Steam Deck. So there we go, guys. The Steam Deck is finally in my hands. And I can't wait to do a ton more videos on this. So if you want to subscribe, please consider subscribing by clicking that red subscribe button. Click the bell icon as well so you get notified the second I post a new video. Follow me on Twitter at Blaze2KX, link in the description. And yeah. I'm excited to get into this bad boy and start playing games and doing videos on it and all that good stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think of the unboxing? I know it was a little bit long, but there we go. The Steam Deck is in my hands. <sighs> Smash the like. See you in the next video, guys. It's Blaze2K. Have an amazing day. Enjoy your weekend.